don't know if it's too dark, but uh, we just do a little uh, vlog here for uh, Walari Bridge Picnic Area. Was it Fee? Walari Bridge Picnic Area? Yep. And uh, it's just a free camp just outside of um, Derby. Derby. So uh, we're just here for one night. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of a campfire. We've got a bit of wood that somebody's kindly left us, which is really, really good. We've got a bit of our own as well. So uh, we're just going to put a campfire out and cook a bit of Thai, I think. Yes. Thai, yeah. Yes. And uh, there was a nice sunset about two minutes ago. But uh, that's gone. A few cockies around. We're not far off the road. And in the river, just across there, yep. there's crocs. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, there you go. So tomorrow, what do we do? We make our way um, to the start of the gib. Yep, which is one of my favourites. We just got into Derby and the first thing I see is this massive Boab which is really really cool if you think it's really really cool I am an arborist so I love trees but this is a real fat belly one so we're just coming to take some photos my first big Boab we're here in Derby we're just gonna have a look at the prison Boab tree, uh, one of the pretty famous. We used to lock up a few people in here back in the day. So we'll uh, take and show you that. prison tree was used to house the Aboriginals on the way to somewhere else um, and they, um, they used it as a stopping point um, before they took them to purling stations uh, to work as divers and on the boats and stuff like that so they were actually, um, it says in the, in the information that they were uh, stolen and the young ones were taken because, so that it, it stopped the old ones from being so restless but that didn't work. There was a few pastoralists killed and um, animals uh, were killed, you know, like their cows and stuff, so... But anyway, that's history. So just up from the prison tree, or the prison boab, in uh, Derby, uh, there is the longest horse trough 
cattle, in horse. cattle, horse, in human. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go for a swim in Australia, and it's 120 meters long and can apparently, uh, well, apparently 500 bullocks can drink from it all at once. It's massive. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's if you're history. really, really, really hot when you get here, you could always just go for a swim from one end to the other. Yeah. So I think it'd be deep enough to just go for a bit of a dive. There you go. <laughs> Try it. finally made it this is the Gibb River Road and uh, we're just starting it so here's the sign here's the sign we've been waiting for this for so long unbelievable can't wait We're a little free camp just near the Winjana Gorge turnoff. We're booked in at Winjana uh, tomorrow and we just thought we'd pull up here tonight. We went down the road a little bit and there was a free camp down there but it was chocker so we just pulled up here. It was really, really nice. There's a nice bushy area. We've got a fire going. Hold on, I'll show you. It's very peaceful. Yeah, Quiet. very peaceful. We might get a nice sunset through the bushes as well. And uh, yeah, that's this, that's us. Five minute setup, still on the car, which is really, really easy for tomorrow. Although we have had a few dramas today. Go on, tell us. <laughs> well, when we went to see the Boab tree, the big prison Boab, Boab tree. tree, Yep. as we were pulling up there, our brakes, I thought Tony was just messing around and our brakes were going on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. She actually said to me, stop I mucking said, around. Stop, stop mucking around. <laughs> because I'm a big kid. But he wasn't touching it. No. So something's gone wrong with the um, the brakes on the caravan. Yeah, they're um, they're shorting out on the right-hand indicator. Yeah, we so. found that out after we'd driven around for like two hours trying to work out what was wrong. And every time Tony puts his right-hand indicator on, the brakes go... Uh, 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 uh. How'd they go? Uh, 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 uh. So we're going to turn around and just go left all the way back around yeah. Australia so, so we, we don't have to turn right again. Yeah, so we're going back down the uh, west coast and we're going to go around that way. Yeah. Mm. Then we don't have to go right. Because we don't have a right hand. Oh, we do have a right hand indicator, but it puts the brakes on. So at the moment, if you follow us anywhere through the Gibb River Road, yeah. and we don't indicate turning right, we apologise in advance. Or if you see my arm waving out the window, <laughs> <laughs> that's the old fashioned right hand turn. Left is fine. Yeah. Left, no problem. My grandfather taught me the right hand turn with your arm out the window. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. So there we'll you go. make it through the gib because it doesn't really matter. It's not a busy, busy road anyway. No. Um, and we'll just be cautious. If someone is behind us, we might pull over to the left first and indicate and then wait till it's clear just to go right. <laughs> no, down at Winjana, I'll get under the car and have, I'll get under the van and have a look. And yeah. it's probably just a cable broken from a rock or something. So yeah. anyway, that was our little drama today. Yeah. So Cost us a few hours, but we got here. We did. Yeah. There and you go. It's so beautiful out it here. It is so peaceful. peaceful. I love it out here. And the Boab's on the way incredible and there was this open plain it was just oh just oh. and eagles yeah, they love eagles the roadkill but there was these two giant oh, oh massive wedge tails just parked up in a tree and uh there was nowhere to pull over so i couldn't take a picture but anyway and we couldn't indicate yeah <laughs> pull over. yeah it was on the right hand side so we couldn't indicate to pull over but anyway that's us. We're going to sit back and have nice a couple little of drinks fire. and get yeah. some dinner going and watch yeah. the sunset. Cool! <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah.
fancy meeting you here. So here we are at Winjana Gorge. Um, great little campground, a um, bit dusty, but uh, you've got toilets, flushing toilets and water and that you have to boil. And showers. And showers, yep. uh, solar showers. Solar showers. Sometimes they're not hot and sometimes they are hot, if and you're lucky. And they've got uh, community fire pits yep. all around the campground. Yes, they do. Yep. Uh, they've got a non-generator and a generator section. And our backdrop is, is this. amazing. Besides all the caravans and the campers and the pot tops, <laughs> and, and here's a fire pit. there's a fire pit, and I'll just show you how site, which we came in here pretty early the day we got it, which is unusual for us, and uh, under a nice tree, still got a lot of solar and uh, close to the taps, toilets and the showers are just there so pretty good site how much a night was it? I can't remember, I'll put it up we'll put it up how much it was and it's about 25 k's in from the main road and off the Gibb River Road yeah, uh, off the Gibb River Road yep and um, it's a bit shattering in, in spots, but you know, nothing too bad. Um, that's about it. And we're just about to go for a walk for four hours through the gorge. So here we go. We're going for a walk. This is a reef from the Devonian Sea and it uh, has primitive marine life um, in the fossilised form on this reef and it's uh, I found one, well sorry, Fee found one <laughs> and showed it to me so I'm going to film it. There you go, pretty cool. How cool, have a look up in here, behind um, you, up there. Look up in there. Oh, I wish I could crawl up in there. Yeah, so there's reef right along here, which is pretty cool. And when it was a sea, it was probably just a, a huge drop off.
it's a nice walk through here. It's uh, really shady. Um, as when you get from the beach, it's uh, sort of back from the river a bit, but uh, we'll just keep going and see what it's like further down. So we're doing this track for, what is it, um, four hours, yeah. seven kilometres or something, and uh, everywhere you go along here there's crocs, but uh, I think we found the biggest, it's the uh, daddy daycare, I think, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all yeah, I'll just, freshies. all freshies, I'll take you down without getting eaten. That one's out there too. So these are sort of the biggest we've seen so far. So here we are at the end of the trail. What did you think? Beautiful. It's so beautiful because it's all shady and yep. the river sort of runs along the side of it, most yep. of it. And crocs all the way along, beautiful bird life. Fish in the river. So this is the end of the trail. Now we've got the walk back. Listen to the bird life. Can you hear it? But can you hear it? I can hear it. The serenity. Yeah. Listen to that bird. So you go for a beautiful walk along a beautiful gorge and there's beautiful trees and some twit does that on the Tom. tree. Tom? Tom the twit. Tom the twit. Oh, I don't get it. If you're going to be walking along here, you'd have to have some sort of, I don't know. Love of nature? Yeah. Love of landscapes and, and then you write that on the on a on a beautiful old ballad i don't get it more on ruins which is just up the road from Winjana and it's a historical site and the board the information board has been vandalized and stolen so we've got well, we no can't tell you much about it but well, we're coming here anyway we'll show you it yeah it's about five minutes drive down from where we're staying at Winjana Gorge and uh, yeah let's have a look I think that's where the plaque was yes I think so I think the plaque's been stolen. <laughs> we love old ruins. How's the backdrop for this one? The best. station area.
we've uh, just come down to Tunnel Creek for uh, a bit of a look. Um, the Tunnel Creek Walk is in the National Park, about 30k down from Winjana Gorge. So we've just come for a drive this morning to uh, beat all the uh, tourist buses. And uh, yeah, so we'll we'll show you a bit of that. What do you think? We will. It's a bit cloudy today, so it might be a bit cooler to do the walk as well. Yep. And there's crocs in here. And apparently there's eels. So somebody's going to... Um, be running on water. <laughs> chickening out, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I felt one here now. Whoa, I'm on it. Yeah, come on, Hey. I'm not. Really? No. Yeah, I'm I, I put mine up here like this. 
Oh, I've only got to be. About halfway? About halfway. Hopefully. And no crocs. And no crocs. So far. Yeah. We'll let you know when we find one. There's fish. <laughs> Where there's...